Now, uh, if you look above your head, you will see a couple of game spotted guys that will identify the animals you might be seeing. I can't promise you we see them all, but we should have really good luck out there. Now, in just a little bit, we will be entering in the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, established way back in 1971 to help protect our local wildlife. Fortunately for us, the animals have become a little more familiar. We can get some great pictures, but it also makes them an easier target for poachers and illegal hunters, which is not so great. Uh, but that's why we have our airborne warden, Zay Mitchell, at 800 square miles at all times, keeping those poachers out of here. We'll give them a call, see what they're up to, and maybe they can give us some helpful hints and tips on where to go, where the coolest the animals are. Now, before we do enter, there is a very important rule on the reserve, and that's just to remain fully seated at all times. It gets really bumpy out there. You know, if you're standing up to take a picture, we hit a bump, you could easily fall over. That's not very fun. So stay seated. And now uh, let's give that airborne warden a call. Airborne warden, this is Simbo. Do you copy? Simbo, this is Warden Wilson Mukua. Over. Jumbo Wilson, me and a couple friends are entering in the Little Lich Rainforest. Over. I'm Jumbo Simbo. Keep your eyes open and drive carefully. You should see the right side. animal. Oh, our first animal on the right side. It uh, looks uh, it's a brown animal with zebra legs. That's called the okabi. The okabis, even though they have zebra legs, they're not related to zebras. They're actually the closest known relative to a giraffe. They have a long neck and they also have a long tongue like a giraffe as well. Now coming around the corner on the left, we will be passing by a watering hole. Watering holes are very important gathering spots in the Little Itch Rainforest. And we can find some of the coolest and some of the more rare species of animals too, if you can find. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Straight up ahead, there is a black rhino way on top. Oh, black rhinos are extremely aggressive. They charge around 35 miles an hour, and they have a hide, which is their skin, around one inch thick. The sad thing about these black rhinos is that they are poached for their horns, so there are less than 4,200 left in all of that. If you think about it, it's not really a whole lot left. Well, very carefully on top of the hill, on your right side, way, way on top, there's two light brown animals. These are called greater kudu. Now, greater kudu are the second largest antelope in all of Africa. Now, male greater kudu weighs around 750 pounds. Well, Safari Goers, we're leaving the Little Lake Train Forest. We're going to drive way down by the Sapi River. Now, the Sapi River is home to many aquatic animals. Now, a favorite here, it always seems to be the Nile hippopotamus. Uh, look on your right side, but stay seated. The Nile hippos, when born, weigh around 85 pounds, but a fully grown male hippo, like that one, can weigh about 5,000 pounds. Here we go, all the way up on the left, we can see one. Actually, a bunch of them in the water. Pictures, pictures, pictures. And we're going to bypass this island and uh, get a really good view of those hippos. Now, if you look in the water and on the island, all these really large white birds, they're called pink-back pelicans. Now, they work together, so herding fish into shallow waters, and then they'll scoop them up with a very large mouths of theirs. I'm going to pull way, way up, and then uh, if you look behind you, behind that island, really good view of all those hippos. Now, hippos, they choose not to swim, so what they're doing is they're walking along the bottom of the river. They can hold their breath for around five to eight minutes at a time. Oh. 
Alright, uh, looks like we've come up to a really old bridge, so for your safety, just remain fully seated. No one's standing up this bridge. It's really old. Oh, and also below us on the left, there are a very hungry Nile crocodile. Now, Nile crocodile are way more aggressive than the American alligator. They have a jaw strength that can crush about 1,200 pounds per square inch. Now, the Nile crocodile also lay up to around 15 to 20 feet long. systems and different trees. If you look on the right, you'll see the baobab tree. Now the baobab tree is an African upside down tree. It holds gallons of water in those trunks for those long African droughts. About nine months out of the year, the baobab tree will not have any leaves on their branches. Now check out this view right here. Now this view coming down the hill is my favorite view of the whole reserve. This is the savanna. And it's home to many animals like giraffes, elephants, and even the big cats, lions. This is the wild after. We're trying to get a concern. All the way on your right side is little brown animals with a black stripe across their bellies. Those are Thompson's gazelle. They're actually not babies. They are fully grown. They weigh around 60 pounds, but they can run about 50 miles an hour. See a bunch of more animals on the right side. We're actually gonna loop around, get a lot closer. It's a better picture. Now the large tan animals on your right side, those are Patterson's elan. Patterson's elan are the largest antelope in all of Africa. They stand around six feet tall at the shoulder, but a male Patterson's elan can weigh up to around 2,000 pounds. There's a shaggy gray animal on your right side that's called a water buck. Now water buck often secretes an oily, smelly substance that's thought to be a waterproof, so whenever they do see a predator, they can just dive right through the water. Yeah. Hook them, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Check this out on your left hand side. These longhorn copper animals, these are called the Ancoli cattle, also known as the Watusi cattle, named after the African tribe that domesticated them. The Watusi tribe. Now, their horns grow around six feet long with a circumference of 20 inches. The water buck, see the ankle like kind of on the left, and then coming around the corner, we'll see the Patterson Zealand on your right side. left hand side if you look really really carefully you'll see 
the white bearded wildebeest. The white bearded wildebeest will herd in around one and a half million, making them the largest herding animals. Oh, but look at this around the corner on your right side. We'll have a really good view of a couple of giraffes. Really, really good view. I see a couple of uh, giraffes through the trees. Uh, now you'll see that there's a couple of them with dark brown, kind of an oak leaf-like pattern giraffes, smaller in size. These are called Maasai giraffes. They only get about 14 and 19 feet tall, only sleeping around 30 minutes of the day. Now if you see all of them are kind of huddled around here. Now there's a giraffe way out in the distance on your right. That's the reticulated giraffe. Uh, I think we'll get a little closer. Now reticulated giraffes have uh, a net-like pattern. They're actually taller than the Maasai giraffes, about 18 and 20 feet tall. The tallest land creature on Earth. Right, see, actually, there's two reticulated giraffes that are closest to each other, and then there's four Maasai giraffes more on the right side. Thank you. 
You can always tell a male from a female. Males like to start. They tend to stay by themselves. And the females actually are in a group together. So that one right there, I guess, female. Hanging out by himself. Poaching and conservation, they're now at a sustainable level. We'll get pretty close to them. Oh, but look on your right side first down in the sand, those large eggs. Those are actually ostrich eggs. Huh? Ostrich eggs are the largest eggs. They can weigh about two to three pounds each. A couple more white rhinos on your right. It's actually a baby white rhino. Looks like her mom and her dad here on the left as well. I suggest you go west. It will be worth it. Alright. Thanks, Wilson. We'll definitely head west. Thank <laughs> you. 